and so much courage to see you all here today. Your collective power as the Demerge New South Wales Alliance with representatives from so many communities from the city and from the bush as a collective voice is so powerful and it's so meaningful that, that you're here today. Um, but why are we here this week? We're here because Ron Honig, the Labor Minister for Local Government, has finally tabled a bill on local council de-amalgamation. Now, as recently as November last year, he was saying he wouldn't do that. We're only here because the Greens have actually pushed him to do that. I tabled the bill in November uh, that created a community-led process for de-amalgamation and that's pushed the government to introduce their own bill. Now that's a step in the right direction because we are here today having this discussion and because very soon we will be in the, in the parliament debating local government de-amalgamation. And the government's bill gives us that opportunity. But there are a few serious problems with this bill. And in some ways, it's almost like it was drafted to make it too hard for you to be able to say that we're supporting de-amalgamation for local communities, but with a process so convoluted and undemocratic that you won't actually achieve what you need to. And there's a few problems with this bill. The first one is that the process has to be led by the council itself, not by the community. And for communities like Pitwater, like Gyra, like Bombala, where a small community has been disenfranchised, has lost its voice, is a minority voice in, a, in an amalgamated council, the amalgamated council is not going to support them. We have to have a mechanism for the smaller community, for residents of that community itself, to drive the process, not the council. And that's certainly an amendment that I and other members of the crossbench will be pushing hard for. Yeah. 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 Woo the state government inflicts this merger madness on our communities who have to pay and then to undo it asks those community to pay more makes no sense it's wrong yep. and so it's very clear that communities have to be assisted in uh, making sure that they can demerge they need that support the labor bill is so wrong so unjust to local communities it physically takes your breath away but the power is in our hands and never underestimate the power of local communities. We need to be talking to as many MPs as possible, show them the truth about this Labor bill, hold them to account for their vote. Labor can be moved on this. We have the power to make it happen. We can and we will turn this around. Here, here. Thank you. Here, here. Have a look at this sign. In 2018, Protect Pitwater, which is the uh, Pitwater de-amalgamation group, had a forum and we invited along the local government minister and at that forum he signed up to this promise. Okay, so it says, Labor confirms commitment to transparency, voluntary demerging of councils, petition, then referendum. Yes. Now, at the state government elections last year, Labor reaffirmed that promise. Yeah. They won government yeah. on that My promise. My residents have had enough. We have, we have taken up a petition, a very historical petition. Over 7,000 people have put their names to a petition. That is enough to put somebody in parliament. That is enough to bring the government down on this issue. I'm calling on the minister to take into account the Greens bill, come up with a compromise, remove the roadblocks from the legislation and allow us to demerge in an effective, cost-effective manner and give us back our democracy. Yeah. 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 Demerge now. Demerge now. 